a piece of Pennsylvania's coal mining past coming down. This is an anthracite coal breaker. Nearly 300 of these massive processing plants once dominated a few counties where virtually all of the nation's anthracite was mined. The St. Nicholas breaker remains the only one left standing, for now. Just to see it being torn down is quite sad. You know, it's part of our heritage. A century ago, anthracite heated millions of homes and helped fuel the Industrial Revolution. Breakers were used to crush, wash, and sort up to 100 million tons of coal a year. It was difficult, dangerous work. Young boys were forced to pick sharp pieces of rock with their bare hands. There were a, a lot of injuries, there was a lot of dust in the air, a lot of noise. The breaker boys were long gone by the time St. Nicholas opened in 1931. It was the largest, most advanced breaker in the world. The slope going down. Ed Tobin remembers what it was like. Don't let anybody kid you. You didn't make much money, but you worked. St. Nicholas closed in the early 60s. Vandals stole whatever they could, except for the enormous machines and conveyors, now rusted and forever silent. Years ago, there was talk of turning the breaker into a museum, but the funding wasn't there, so it's being scrapped. It's a, it's a way of eliminating an eyesore and a liability for the community as well as our company. Modern anthracite plants process about two million tons a year for home heating, steel making, and other uses. But production overall is a fraction of what it was during the industry's heyday. St. Nicholas belongs to that age. One last relic of a time when coal was king. Michael Rubencam, Associated Press, Monoy City, Pennsylvania.